This week, Madame Wheels took a look at the Lamborghini Urus, the Italian super sports car brand's take on the in-demand SUV market. You'll see it here cruising through the streets of its homeland in Italy. What's it like? Well, as you would expect, it's wild. Madame Wheels also took it for a spin in and around Melbourne. So the Lamborghini Urus, I would say, is quite a masculine car in a couple of ways. First, it's incredibly loud when you first turn it on. And secondly, it's incredibly wide, so it has serious road presence. I think it's almost two meters wide before you add the mirrors. Also, it has a horrible blind spot back here on the left side. Not much window at the back. Thank God for the blind spot warning. But none of that matters because this is such an exciting car to drive. Lamborghini has called its drive modes Anima, or Soul, and switching through them provides all sorts of sensory pleasure. Not only can the changes in engine timber and tension be felt and heard with every shift of the driving dynamic selector lever, beautiful graphics on the top of two infotainment touchscreens show the car cycling through relevant landscapes too. So for the price point, this car's incredibly good value for what you're getting, and it is so much fun to drive. So here we are on Beaconsfield Parade in Melbourne where this car is attracting a lot of attention. The Lamborghini Urus, it's yellow, it's Lamborghini, it's outstanding. The design of this car is very eye-catching. It's quite large, it's quite imposing, but I think people recognise it for what it is. They see it and they go, wow, what has Lamborghini done? They've stepped out of the mould of what we see these days in the Urukan and the Aventador and has created what is actually a very useful SUV for this market in terms of its luggage capacity, in terms of its comfort, its drivability, the technology on board is next level. Honestly, I can't recommend this car enough and it's only because I've just had such a very fun couple of days in it.